All right, here we go. Let's get after the session today. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Let's go, everybody. Just getting going here. Be sure to introduce yourself in the chat. Like, where are you coming from today? And maybe like one thing that you're really curious about in this session, because I'm gonna cover a lot of stuff today and we're gonna really focus on, theme today is gonna be on goals. It's just a really great time to be thinking about how do we how do we build and sustain our growth with the systems, the rituals, the routines and habits that we're creating, right? To be able to actually achieve those goals. So we're gonna be talking about that today. But I would love, love, love for you to introduce yourself in the chat. And then also, while we let people in, people get, you know, to join the growth group, I'd love to hear again, why did you come today? What's top of mind for you with you know, using growth day, growth systems. Hey, what's up, Teresa? And just like really, uh, let's just get after it. And remember that this is a safe space. Growth groups, there's, you know, this is a really fun place for all of us just to learn, grow, and develop together. I'm actually also gonna be able to answer any questions that you have about the app. And uh, we'll do a little quick introductions here. I'm just gonna wait about 30 more seconds and then we'll get the show rolling. So welcome, Rhonda from Philly, cool. Elizabeth, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Matt. Welcome, Zajet, Kathy, Sonia, Sonia, and Renee, and Josh, Tracy, Cheryl. Let's go. Awesome. And just as an FYI, I am, I'm recording this session, just mainly I'm gonna repost it inside the community, just for people that you know are on the other side of the time zones and just weren't able to make it here. And I do these every single Thursday. And this is a consecutive, this is a recurring growth group. So if you find value in this and you want to join us next week, we have a tw I have a 12 week structure for this right now. Last week we talked about building clarity. This week we're going to be focused on goals. Next week we're going to be focused on action planning. Then we'll go into week four will be about practice, just like learning about practice. So I have themes that I'm going to be teaching along the way. And we're going to also look at the features in the app. And if you have questions around that, I'll be able to help you there too. All right, so let's get the show on a roll. First off, I just wanted to give you a big all a, a big shout out for being here today. It's January, you know, it's beginning of the month. It's still be pretty much the beginning of the month, and right now is just one of those epic times to really get super laser focused on what it is that you want to achieve this year. And obviously, inside of the learn section, which is how you all even found this, there is all of the weekly sessions that our, our growth day coaches are coming in and talking about how to start your dream, which is really exciting. We've already had some really good uh, sessions already, Brendan and Lisa Bilyeu, and it's just been it's just been super, super fun. And you can go back in and watch those if you're a pro member or an all access member and get more value of that, take notes and get, get a ton of value from it. So let's go, I've seen, I've seen some familiar faces and we just get, keep getting people in here. Today's purpose is going to be kind of themed around goals, but I also just want you to start thinking about how do you currently, how do you approach your goals? Do you think about like when do you actually start planning your goals? When do you start setting that intention? You know, but whether it's like you did it in December and you're setting it for January or you're setting intention for, you know, the, for the entire year. And earlier today, I had a private session when I was talking about growth groups and I was talking about the the way that I like to set up goals. And the really the big thing that I like to do is I like to look at the, the holistic self. Actually, before I jump into there, let me just introduce myself. My name is Drew Bridewell. I'm head of product and design here at Growth Day. I've been helping build Growth Day from the ground up from zero to one. In my career, like I've always been working in the learning and development and personal growth space. And I worked at the late great lynda.com. If you ever heard of lynda.com, I worked at LinkedIn. I worked at Facebook. I worked at a company called Envision. My big thing has always been working in product and design transformation. And I'm just really like thankful that you're here today. Thankful that you're here to learn a little bit more about the Growth Day app, but also kind of get super aligned and super focused on building and sustaining your, your growth systems which is what we can do inside of the Growth Day app. We have, you know, the journal, the life scores, the plan section, the challenges, which is, you know, for more of that social learning, and then the learn section, which is what you're in here, where we have growth groups and then courses. I do want you to feel free to ask any questions in the chat around anything that you're maybe uh, curious about with Growth Day. 
and then we'll circle back through and make sure we get all your questions answered. And of course, like probably the second part of this growth group, I'm going to want to bring you up on stage if you're if you're interested in coming up on stage, you know, with a really with a question or something you want to discuss and you can raise your hand and to raise your hand it's in the purple bar at the bottom of your screen your browser that just allows you to raise your hand so i can see you and then what i'll do is i'll make you a speaker and then you just have to turn on your audio and your video so that i can actually see you and so everybody else can also see you and then after we get your question going we'll put you back down as an attendee okay so i'm just going to quickly like skim through the chat real quick just make sure we're on the same page and then we'll start the conversation. We'll start the discussion. So thanks for that little uh, grace on the intro there. So we're hearing about how to use the plan section, how to use the app better. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. So it's goal. It's goals week. And the way I like to start with thinking about goals is one, we got to understand and start building a little bit of a framework on how we're going to like write those goals, but even take a big giant step back. Like I said earlier, I want us to think about our holistic self. And when I say holistic self, I'm talking about the entire you, not just your career, you not just the project, you know, achieving your project, you, but thinking about your passions, thinking about your projects, thinking about your personal life, like the things that you want to, you want to do personally, like that, that are, just about you and then also thinking about so it's your project here i'll put these in the chat just so you all can have it project we have passion we have career and we have project passion career oh and personal and i do this all the time like there's always that one when you have a list of you're going through a list but these four things i tend to like when i'm coaching clients or when i'm coaching my team I really want to understand all of these things in their life. Like, what do they want to do? A, because when you share your goals with other people, you're more likely to also achieve them. You're getting a little bit of that social, that social interaction about like what it is you're trying to achieve. But it's also helping kind of be a little bit vulnerable to, to share all the other opportunities that you know, or maybe even that you don't know, and you're sharing them here. People could actually also have very similar goals. And when you can align your goals with your team, with your family, with your friends, then you can actually work towards and strive together, which is why we created growth groups too. So you could strive together, you could tap into the community and you could be able to learn together. It's super important. So these four things I tend to go back to and I tend to do it on a quarterly basis. Now for me, I like aligning my goals on a quarterly basis. And I, and I heard some comments around like, well, I saw some comments. I didn't hear it. I saw some comments around like, oh my gosh, like there's a lot of different things, but how do I prioritize them? That is a really big challenge because you have to be able to prioritize your, you know, the, the most important things that are going on in your life. And that is kind of a clarity question. And to build clarity around these things, right? We can use the journal. We can ask ourselves and go through the actual high performance habits and high performance questions that are inside of the journal. So you can start asking like, you know, those questions on a regular basis, but you also need to, and I have the six big six questions that I asked to build clarity, which also really dramatically impact the, the, your, how you write and schedule your goals. And I'm going to show you in like, probably like I'm going to share the big six, but I also, I'm going to tap in and share my screen and walk you through. You can do this with your plan to set goals, but you can also do it inside of your growth profile. So it depends on how you like to process information because there's different, you know, we built, we built growth day in a way that's very agnostic to you. You don't have to, you don't have to use it like a very specific way. You can use it and evolve it in a way that's going to serve you and the things that you're trying to achieve. So we're going to dive into that in a quick second. So what are the big six? And these are the big six things that I want you to kind of tap into or consider tapping into when you're writing goals or when you're coming back into the product and we're like, well, how do I build and sustain a system? Well, the system of clarity comes from knowing your purpose, which is a really hard question to answer sometimes. So knowing your purpose, I'm going to write purpose. That's one. Another one is understanding the opportunities around all the things in your life. So how do we understand the opportunities? Well, we have to understand like the problems and maybe some of the kryptonite, maybe the things that are holding us back, the things that are causing us a little bit more fear, the things that are kind of like blocking us from advancing things forward. We got to know what those opportunities are so we can reframe those problems into opportunities. 
So for example, if you're like, I, I just don't know where to focus first. I don't know. Well, why don't you know where to focus first? You know, what are the top things that you need to achieve? Maybe this week, maybe this month, maybe this year, you really got to ask yourself those hard questions and just write, write down your first, even if it's a draft, like writing down what your first elements are. And you can do that in a journal and you can do that in a plan, but we want to really get super duper clarity on what those opportunities are. The third one is how you are going to show up this year. And one way to do that is just thinking about your like identity or how you want to identify. So this would be like thinking about, well, and, and what we encourage in the app is like picking, picking a couple words that you want to relate to. And I have mine in front of me and I, I, when I'm starting a new season or starting a new year, I'll actually do this. And for mine, like how I identify or what my identity is, I have like actually four words that I focus on. One of those words is innovative. Another word is creator. And I have a bracelet that says create on my hand. That also kind of is a, something that I use to remind myself to really stay focused. And I even have these reminders set up in the app, which you can do in the plan section. And then I have inspired and motivated. Second one is my interactions. So how do I want to interact with other people, my team, my family? And I hope you're taking notes around some of these things. Like you could write, write these things down in your notes section and then start putting them in and fill them in later, or you can fill them in during the session. So my interactions, I want to be present. I want to be energized. I want to be empathetic and I want to be intentional. These four things are like Drew, like a part of my identity, a part of my interactions. When I show up, when I walk through the door, when I inter engage, engage with my, my wife or my son, I'm going to make sure that I'm showing up for them and doing this. So those are the four for me. What, what would yours be? And then the la and then this next one, success. So success is really important because my goodness, like what does success look like for these goals? What does success look like for this week? What does success look like for even this growth group? What we're trying to achieve. We're trying to really understand and tap in to a little bit more clarity, a little bit more awareness of our goals so that when we start building our systems and using growth day to actually show up and do the work, we know where we're going to be and we know what we're going to be doing. Because a lot of times if you just start and show up and just create a plan, but you don't really know what's what's surrounding the plan what's the intention around the plan it could be really challenging to really step it up and, and get after it so i want to encourage you to make sure that you are tapping in you're tapping in tapping and tapping in to these elements my four items for my interactions are being present i want to be present when i interact with other people i want to be energized i want to be empathetic and I want to be intentional. Those are my four. And you know what? Sometimes I go through different seasons and you might come up with like one word and that's completely fine. But think about like where you currently are at with your friends, with your family, with your loved ones, with th the things that you're doing. And what would be a word that would help anchor you and be a trigger for you when you see it to be like, that's who I want to be. And that's how I'm going to show up. Create a self rule for yourself with that word, like take ownership and take accountability for how you're going to show up with that. The last one for the big six is priorities, which we had purpose opportunities. The priorities are kind of hard. However, if you know what your priorities are from your manager or from yourself around, like my priorities are my fitness. My priorities are my health. My priorities are showing up and doing the work here in growth day. My priorities are just making progress 1% every day. That's my priorities. I mean, you know, you got to find a way to write your priorities, but I'll show you also in the, ch in, the, in the chat here too. Okay, so that's the big six. I talked about the four goals. I'm just trying to set context here. They're in the notes if you want to review it. So Rhonda, there isn't a way right now to move a items from one, one plan to the other. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and head over. So if you ever, I know this looks kind of crazy right now, but if you are ever in a growth group and you're sharing your screen, it will look like this if I'm sharing exactly because you're seeing a replica of everything I'm seeing. Now, now I'm orienting you to my plan page. I'm going to just command plus a couple times just so you can see it a little bit bigger. All right. So as a reminder, we're in a growth group. A growth group is a social interactive learning experience, right? So you're together with your peers, your friends, you could do it like uh, with a couple people. It could be private or it could be public. This is a growth group. 
Now the idea of why we created this little mini player, which you can see in the very bottom right of the screen, is that you can come in with a group and you can go journal together. You could go and life score together. You could go and plan and challenge and do learning activities together. You can't watch together, but you can also do other things like go to community and do those things together. All right, and there was a question around, well, can I move, like I started, Brennan had started the year of mastery, uh, the three E's, for example, I, in this scenario, I created a, my the three E's that he was talking about, and I created it in a plan. You could also do this via a journal entry. You could do it via the notes section, which is what you currently have on the right sidebar when you're in a course, when you're in a growth group, when you're in a challenge. You're going to see this right sidebar throughout the entire like learning experiences. And what that sidebar does when you see that notes, that means you're always going to have those notes as a repo in the very top right of the app. So up here in the very top, if I clicked notes and I'll come back to my plan in a second. So if I click my notes, it's taking me to all the notes that I've ever taken here at growth day. Now I have been attending growth growth groups and growth day since the very beginning. So you can see I have 233 notes from the very beginning. And all of these notes are going to be captured inside of the tool. So even if you wanted to pin a note because it's really important to you, that's completely fine too. You can just click this little pin icon and then it'll be pinned over to the right. So I'm just going to check the chat here and just see if I can see any additional questions from y'all. Can I make the screen? It, ah, I can't make the screen any better. Well, here, let me try to do this. I'll do two more pluses, Josh, and see, because we're sharing a screen inside of a screen. And let me know if it's a little bit better. I'm on an iMac uh, presenting this, so let me come back over to the plan. Oh, now it's huge. <laughs> but let's just see if that's a little bit better for you, okay? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you for your grace on that. You know, I think these are all, like, really fun. I'm, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really glad that y'all are... Well, one, I'm just glad that you're here. We're having this good discussion. Keep the comments and questions coming, and then we'll keep working through these things. So there was a question around like, okay, well, here I'm going to minimize this down a little bit. There's a question around, well, can I move this three E's to another, to another uh, plan? I can't do that today, but it's so easy just to come in and just create a new action and do that. We are exploring and working through some new variations in the plan that will allow you to duplicate, that will allow you to uh, reset the plan or set a reoccurring plan. We're still in uh, you know, discovery phase for that. So as these things come out, I will re we'll talk about them and release them in, in the notes, but we'll also release them in, in future growth groups so you understand like how the product's evolving. But as of right now, if you like, like, well, actually at the beginning of the month, I had a, a very clear roadmap for what I want to achieve and what I want to do in January. So the way that I'm using this is I either use it for like this year of mastery, which is a program that Brennan uh, created for all access. If people that are signing up in all access within the last 30 days or so, they get access to this, uh, some of the growth groups. So I was taking notes and during my notes, I was putting a plan of what are the things that I want to be able to do. And for that, there's a little note section at the top of a plan. And let me just show you one more time how to get into that. So I would just hover hover over top of the list item. And if I wanted to change the threes, I could just click into it and change it, hit return. But there's this little arrow on the far right, which opens a subtask. I can also delete it. I can set reminders specifically for this three E's so I could get reminded about this say like weekly for the entire month of January. And to do that, I literally just got to click it once, click custom and go to weekly. And then I want to get reminded on a weekly basis. And then I want to get reminded, let's say I'm an early guy. So I like to be reminded of things early in the day and I'm gonna get reminded at 10 AM. So every week at uh, Thursday at 10 AM, I'm going to get reminded to tap into these three E's. So I save it. And then after that saves, it's doing two things. It's going to show up in my reminders section of the app, 
but it's also going to give me this little visual cue that's going to say, hey, Drew, we've got 10 a.m. on weekly on Thursday. You're going to get reminded about this thing. And if I click on it, I'm going to see my new family routines, my in like how I want to show up, which is my innovative, innovative, creative, inspired, motivated. I want to show up present, energized, empathetic, and intentional. I want to be consistent, prepared, and focused, and want to prepare 10 minutes before the event. So anything that I'm doing, I'm going to prepare 10 minutes before that session. And Brennan's three questions were, what can I get excited about this week? What can make me an even better experience? And how can I make that even more excellent? And these are just good, uh, consistent prompts that you can have. And then I'll just fill out the rest of these things moving forward so that I have a really good capture plan for how I want to have an amazing year of mastery. So let me just come back to the note. Oh, that's a really cool idea, Matt. A plan frameworks. I think there's so many cool things that we're going to be able to do with the plan, this plan section over the years. But obviously, like we're two years into into the game with Growth Day. So there's going to be a lot of really fun things that we explore. So the best thing that you can do if you want to keep kind of peppering all your really awesome ideas when they come to you is you can hit eight on your keyboard or you can go to the feedback button. Eight is the quick keyboard shortcut. And you could just fill this in and give us like, a, you know, it can be feedback or help, how to help us improve it. You can share your like product ideas, feature suggestions, general ideas, growth group questions. And then we read all of these things that come in. And then we have a prioritization bucket where we just look at all these and we like, okay, what can we do next for our strivers? What can we do to really help them make this experience even better? So we really care about those things. So keep them coming. I just want to make sure, uh, and I'm gonna make the screen a little bit bigger. Just want to make sure. Um, can you have the same thing? So thanks for this question, Rhonda. Can you have the same thing reminded several times a day or do they have to be uh, multiple times? So to do this, if I wanted to be reminded of the same thing multiple times, let me show you how to do that. So to do that, I would go over to my reminders or actually before I go to remi my, my reminders is a list of all the reminders that I have. But if I wanted to set an individual standalone reminder, individual standalone reminder, this is like, it doesn't have to be associated to a plan at all. I can come in and create, create reminder. And let's say that I want to be reminded about, you said uh, the same thing multiple, several times a day. We do have certain cap like certain thresholds that you have to follow from a recurrence perspective. But let's say I have, like I had fly like an eagle. I know it might be silly, but sometimes I really like to, I really like to just like really dream big and, and do some really um, fun things here. So, so let's just say my new reminder is to fly like an eagle. And then I have my like keywords and my intentions and the things I wanted to do. I can set it up hourly and then I have a start time and end time and it will do every 60 minutes. Yeah. Like Eddie the Eagle or <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or, you know, seal. Uh, daily reminders, I can do weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, or does not repeat. And it just gives me that one reminder. But like, for example, I have one, um, and I'll show you some of my reminders, but I can set it up hourly and just be on my way there. And then after I create that, let me just, oop, I need to set it. It's holding me to it. Let's say 115 to 415. Really intentional moment. I'm going to create a reminder that gets set. Okay. Then I'm going to go to my reminder section and I can see that there it is. Fly like an eagle. I'm going to minimize my uh, mini player. I'm going to move it to the left side here so you can see. And then I fly like an eagle from 115 to 415. Now, obviously you can do this with your phone, but the idea of having this all inside of growth day is that you can have all of your personal, your personal growth intentions, within the app so that you are like laser focused. It's kind of like another level of focus. And I think that that's really helped me over the past, like, you know, two years, be able to tap into just staying like, you know, keeping that motivation going, keeping that focus going. And then I have these other ones that I've already set up, you know, things that I want to do, things that I want to grow in, things that I'm really just trying to strive with. So you can also turn these off when you're like, ah, I don't, I don't want this on anymore and you can even delete it and then it's gone and then you're in business. Like I have other reminders that I have set up like my consistent, passionate, courageous. These are where the words 
like I have a Sunday run to the grocery at 8 a.m. I just want to get reminded on Sunday, like, hey, Drew, go run to the grocery or go check in with the groceries and see what else needs to be inside the house. For my son, I was working with um, his school and working on like some designing some programs. So I had a reminder when I was doing like, I, I made an advancement plan that I wanted to get reminded about um, at 8 a.m. at that certain time. I have other high performance system management where, you know, these are like plans that I've made or daily plans that I like to get reminded of. You know, I could even get reminded about like top three priorities of the day just to know what are those top three priorities of the day, Drew, and I want to focus on what those things are. So this is an example. And then I have another one, like just doing gratitude for my wife and my son. I get reminded every day at 8.45 a.m., like right before my day starts at 9 a.m., I'm like, go, go, go. I mean, my day starts at like 4.50 a.m., but I have that morning time where I can really do the things that lift me up, make me feel wonderful, make me feel like I'm really advanced, like my workouts, my planning, my intention connection, like my morning routine. I honor that morning routine. It's not something that I want to mess with. But after after that's over, I want to have some gratitude for my family and then reconnect. And then, you know, I have other messages, like message my team before I had one for Q for 2022 during Q1 about the OKRs that we are trying to move forward with. I have another one uh, that I started around believe and get a meditation in, you know, so you can create these things for pretty much anything that you want, which is really cool. Let me come back to the chat. Just make sure that I am uh, giving your questions answer. Oh my gosh, Douglas, great question. So when you do create these notifications, you will get a push notification, which is the push notification is a notification that shows up on your phone. You just have to make sure that you allow it. Now to allow it or to make sure that you're set up for that, you can go to your settings page. Here, I'll go to my settings. And and it's cool because you'll get those you know push notifications. They slide in on your phone and then you're, you're in good uh, shape there. So you can go to notification preferences. And then here I'll just minus this down because I know it's really big, but I'm trying to make the screen big for you. And then you can get the app notifications, the push notifications, which here's that toggle for reminders, live events, challenges, and there you go. You got it in your, in your bank. So we're talking about plan, right? And you can easily create a plan just by going in and hitting create new plan, adding the due date, setting the reminders and going through. It's a really great, but let me show you like two other plans really quick, just to, because when you're setting goals and you're going through like your personal passion, project, career goals, and you're thinking about how to organize them, that can sometimes be like, you know, it can be a little overwhelming when you're thinking about all the things you want to do, like Zajet was saying earlier. But I think it's so important to not take your, like all the things that are going to lift you up, inspire you, just tap into that ambition and don't take it from granted. Like all of those sides of you matter. It's not just like your work. It's not just your career. It's not just like, you know, the things that you, you love to do as a passion project or a personal, you really got to look at that whole, your whole self. And you can use the tool here to stay organized with that, get those reminders and then bucket your days and your weeks and your months. So another example of this is like I had an, during the holiday season, I had an operation spirit and this operation spirit plan was to make, it was first, it was to make December amazing but I switched it up and make, make January amazing. And then I literally had this say holiday spirit during the season. And then what I was doing was I was creating these systems in place. So I knew that like throughout the entire month, there was going to be things that I was going to be creating. There was going to be things that I was like new projects that I was creating with my family, with myself, with my son. And then I wanted to be able to check in with those things on a regular basis. I also had other family activities planned daily check-ins with my family. This was during like the holiday break because, you know, it wasn't work, wasn't working so much. So I wanted to make sure that I had these like check-ins with every, because all our schedules were different. My kid wasn't in school at the time. So now it's, it is all different. There was buildings and stores that we wanted to map and go explore. There was relationship building, like things that I really wanted to work on my relationships during the holiday break. I wanted to bring joy and discovery. And then I wanted to merge my photos with my wife. Like we have a lot of photos. So so we were able to do some of those sorts of things. Same thing. There's like, you know, uh, other mentoring uh, plans. Like I can go through, like here's another example. And then I'll switch gears a little bit just to give you a little bit more context. Like here's a daily plan that I was using. Hey, let me just check the comments too. Yep. Great, great, great. Thank you, team. Thank you, everybody that is just um, 
sharing more tips and tricks and things. If I missed your comment from above, just put it down below and make sure you raise your hand if you want to. Uh, what we'll do is we'll bring people in to like ask live questions. We can do that maybe when there's about like 15, 20 minutes left. Oh, the three E's. Yeah, I can run back there. But let me show you this real first, Elizabeth, and then I'll jump back to those three E's and uh, you can take a quick screenshot of it or you can just write it down. So the daily planner is this another when we talk about systems, building rituals, routines, habits. For me personally, I do not like to have big, giant, long lists of to do's every day. I want to have my the, my themes of my biggest projects and my biggest goals and my biggest rocks that I'm trying to take on, I want to create themes for those because I have blocked times throughout my days where I'm going to use these block times to be able to execute those big rocks. And then they're set in their priority and I have priorities for those things. But I don't like having to manage a bunch of little tiny tasks at once because I feel like that that to me is not how I want to use my plan. I want to have big themes and big intentions so I can start building the habits of how I'm going to move through my week. And this is how I've been able to be super productive in my roles at LinkedIn, my roles at Facebook, my roles at Envision, at Lynda.com, and now at Growth Day. You know, I'm running multiple projects, multiple teams, and I have to be on my A game every day for my team, for my family, for all of you. And I don't want to be wasting time on little, little, tiny, tiny, like checking things off the list. I have themes and routines that I follow. So an example of that is this daily planner. So I ask myself, and I just know this in the beginning, what are my top three priorities of the day? What are people or people I need to reach out to or follow up with? And I'll have little notes and things like I just had one, like on this little sheet of paper, I had before I went to bed, I had these like, these are the top three things that I need to do for tomorrow. I have these kickoffs with this team. I have this kickoff on these requirements for this new thing that we're building in the product. And then I need to send these two members on my team recommendations and notes about these new rituals and routines because we've scaled up our team. So we really got to understand how we're all going to align and work together. So that's an example of that. Then I have a moment of gratitude for my family, for my team, for Brendan, for the people that I work with and just thanking them for being awesome, but also like appreciating them in a unique way. Like how can I celebrate them and connect with them? Uh, then I have these like meditation practices, you know, super meditative because there's so many things that, you know, we're going on this week. I want to be super in tuned with, with the things that I was saying, like how I want to identify, how I want to interact, how I like what success looks like. So I would check in with those three things. And then obviously like down at the bottom, I have this one. It's always open because I'm always integrating my routines, my rituals, and my high performance habits. So I'm going to come back here because I think Matt had a question. Is there a way to set reminders for five or six days a week instead of all seven days? <laughs> Sorry about that. I definitely shouldn't have done a refresh on my page. I kind of like was like, oops, shouldn't have done that. Hopefully everybody's back. Let me see. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's like, Drew, you know this tool. You should have refreshed your page. You're in a live group. Oh my gosh. Live stream. Let's go. We all do it. Thanks for the grace. All right. Three E's. Thanks, Zajet. Zajet is awesome. She's one of our team members. She's so amazing. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was really funny. All right. Coming back <laughs> to the plan. Let me share my screen again. All right. So there was a question around the setting a reminder for certain days. Let me just show you that really quick and then we can get back to business, business, let's go. All right, All right. so if I go in, set a reminder. So if I did wanna be reminded about this certain days, you just choose the weekly because it's gonna be happening across multiple days. So this might've been the one that you were looking for and I, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot your name, um, but I hope you can see this example as a way to achieve getting reminded about on this on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday at a specific time. So you would do a weekly reminder. All right, Matt. Yeah, it's Matt. Matt, I'm going to remember your name. Okay, great. All right, cool. So we talked about plan. We talked about reminders. Like these are all really good ways to use the tool. And I, I hope sharing some of the examples that I have in mind are helping you get the wheels turning, get the wheels turning. It's good. But the also the other thing about how we achieve achieve like sustaining these things is we really got to tap into what I would call a growth loop. And the growth loop is something I've shared. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. 
the growth loop is something that like is something of it's essentially a loop of learning and i think when we talk about like building and sustaining here i'm going to come back to you all so we talked about plans talked about the reflections the things that we can do remember that when you're building and sustaining trying to sustain your own growth systems you need the recurring moments and what i was calling out was the growth loop the growth loop is important because just like this product we have all these tools for a very specific reason it's not there's there's a reason why the journal is there there's a reason why the life scores are there there's a reason why the plan is there and there's a reason why courses and growth groups are here and this is the reason right here so we have a growth loop like and if you can imagine the meta logo, it's like a figure eight. You don't have to think about meta, the Facebook logo, but think about a figure eight. And the figure eight, even if I was to you know draw it, right? You have this, this sort of thing. You have a figure eight. And inside this figure eight, it's continuously flowing, right? So the objective here is to help you identify how you are going to connect to this growth loop for yourself and to do that you just got to know what the loop is and okay so i have little keywords here and you might not be able to read my writing but the first one in the very top left is reflect how do we reflect well we have multiple ways to reflect right you can do the journal where you can get questions and hit the questions and do it like at least once a day tap in if you're in have a meeting that you're attending you can open up growth day open up your journal and what are you learning from this meeting what are you observing from this meeting what are the things that you're taking away from this meeting like getting super intentional and really observing like okay i'm learning this i'm doing this how am i advancing this forward what am i doing and that's essentially what i do but like reflection could also be like you had a really hard day at work or trying to plan for a really big thing and you have a lot of emotions right now you can use the journal to go in and start fleshing out some of those feelings, those emotions, being vulnerable for yourself. The journal is completely private. So when you go in there and you start writing, you can, you can just express anything you want to express. But that first part of the growth loop is reflection. The second part of that growth loop in the, bar, bar, uh, the, 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 the very bottom left is plan. So after you reflect, you're like, well, what am I going to do about these reflections, these emotions? And the plan is really important because it allows you to take that emotion, that intention of what you are thinking and feeling and, and desiring and turning it into something actionable, like something meaningful and actionable is what the plan is for. So when you have a, a big important list or a big important objective, you know, creating a line item for that in your plan and then writing what are the next five most important things that I can do to move this thing forward. And that doesn't have to be like, it could be really small things. It could be really big things. But I like to really think about like, I like to break down my rocks into like four or five really massive milestones that I'm going to hit to really move these things forward. And I'm just going to kind of come through. And then the cool thing about the plan is you can't have sub items. So if you create a plan, you create a list of rocks or milestones, and then you can actually go in and break those things down even more. And we kept it to two levels for a reason too, because we don't, want to make the product too complicated to use right just two levels like big rocks small rocks break them down create reminders go get after it so we have the plan the next one that we need to do so we have our reflections we have our plans the things we need to do there could be a part of why goals might not be getting achieved because we're trying to learn new things we might have the fear that we don't know what it is so we might not get started the plan is there to help you initiate that momentum to get things going the next part of this is learn it's you got to be able to learn and learn and train could actually be like these could be swapped train and learn the two categories there they could be they could be like flip-flopped because you're either going to need to practice and execute the thing or you're going to need to learn and train on the thing so you're going to practice train they kind of like are cross cross um kind of uh analogous to each other like like you you're still going to need to be able to learn new things and that's why we have the courses and the training so when you want to go that next level and really identify okay brennan's going to share like tons of tons of training inside the courses and there's other there's other course instructors there to really help you go deep in that structured learning about like planning 
about um, meditating, about um, you know all personal development stuff like physical fitness with Tony Horton and a lot of other people. I would encourage you if you're trying to really develop, go through one of those courses one by one and just knock them out. Take notes, share what you're learning in the community, and then you start seeing that that element of learning. But then we also the last one we have to train, we have to practice. You know the reason why I was like I played baseball uh, in college. And the thing was, just get the reps and you got to get the reps. You know, you put the ball in the tee and you just hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it all day long. hundred, hundred balls off the tee every day. The same thing kind of happens with us, right? We're learning new things. We have to develop the craftsmanship. We have to develop the skills. And the same thing goes for anything you want to do. If you're trying to become a better painter, a better artist, a better scrum master, a better uh, planner, you have to practice those things. And it's okay that you're not good to start off with. You just gotta get one percent better week over week over week over week, and then you'll see at the end of the year, like holy smokes, you got so much better, and that's the that's just the fire and spirit of personal development and growth, and that's why we built this tool, right? So you can actually have those experiences with other like-minded or other passionate people in this platform, right? People are really passionate about growth. That's why they're here, and I think that's also. You know, part of why y'all showed up today, you're trying to learn, grow and develop yourself and you're doing it today, which is pretty awesome. Well, awesome. So I hope the growth loop makes sense and I hope that helps you because that's a system. That's an example of a system and you can create your own systems of development and, 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 and growth. When I talk about like personal uh, growth, I teach product and design. So I'm teaching product and design related things, but I think it's still relevant to what we're doing today. And to, to see a recording of this is a good question. I'm gonna post it in the community and what you'll see is actually I'll end up for all of these recurring growth groups in the in the agenda. I'll post links and I'll update the agenda so you can see the lineup of all the previous sessions. So even today in the agenda, after the session ends, you'll see it like this session was ended. Give some feedback, which I'd encourage your feedback as well. Post it in the community or post it, you know, yeah, post in the community what you learn, any ahas, any of those sorts of things. And then you'll actually just see the link in, our, in a replay. If you're in the app right now, what would be a really good way to reflect besides the journal? Does anybody have any guesses? Notes is a good guess. Life scores. So now that's, that's, exactly, that's exactly it. So when you're in life scores, I want everybody to actually hop over into life scores right now. You don't have to stay on the growth. You can literally click that page and you're gonna see a little mini player on the left side. We're all gonna go there right now and again if you got questions y'all like let's let's ask them let's keep asking them and i'm over in the i'm over in the life scores right now i hope you are too so when you go through these life scores when i was talking about the growth loop you can do i like to do like little pairings of things and i call them like they're like two hits you know you can do the journal and life scores or you can do like the life scores and go plan or you can do the journal and go plan, but I typically pair them up together. And we have these little reminders on, on the life scores, on the weekly reviews, and on the monthly reviews so that you can keep track of what it is that you're doing. Now, for example, if you wanted to retake a score, you have the ability to delete a life score. Head over to the life scores, you'll see your activity, you know, your daily, weekly, or monthly. You'll have these cards underneath the activity. You could filter those by daily, weekly, or monthly. And the thing is, if you wanna get recommendations or write journal entries, because sometimes what we've learned from members is they wanna do life scores and journal about the same thing. So you can, we added a button there on, it says write journal entry. You can click that and then journal right in line of your life score so that you can reflect on like that day, you know, January 11th, what happened yesterday? What are all the things that, that happened? I could go in and tie it and just and uh, and write about it right here in line, which I really like. And I think it's really important just to be able to do it. And you can even finish it in the journal. There's a little button there to do that. For some reason, wanted to delete a weekly or a monthly life score, you could do that. But you can't go back to that specific day in life score. Like life scores are very like we have a system in place where it just rem you know reminds you to do it. Um, but if you needed to redo it, you could just delete it and then retake it. Cheryl's got a reminder a daily and a reminder on Sundays to do or weekly. I think that's a really helpful thing because these weekly and these daily, you know, what is that doing? That's helping you build intention around like these top 10 high performance questions that we've done 
tons and tons of research on, like some of the biggest research studies in personal development. And taking those questions from the High Performance Habits book that Brendan wrote and building it into, you know, we integrated that sort of thinking and that evidence-based research into the product. So go through those questions. They're really great anchors into your life and overall uh, really helpful. Ah, okay. All good. Did everybody see it? It's right here. Write journal entry. Really helpful to do it in line. The other really cool thing about this, hopefully you're seeing it, Rhonda, is you can click this sidebar. I'm going to move y'all over to the left side. This sidebar is how you can keep track of your days, of the things that you do. And don't beat yourself up if you, if you miss a day. Like I missed Monday. I was, I was journaling a lot, but I didn't life score. You know, I didn't life score that day. And, you know, sometimes you get in the zone and you just don't do it. And that's totally fine. Don't beat yourself up. Give yourself grace. We're all here together. We're no, like, we're not perfect and that's fine. Like, we're not trying to be. We're just trying to grow and get it done. So you can actually go back through and click through those days and see all the things that you've done in those previous days. So here, I created a plan. I journal. I got my other information and you can see that when you hover over. And you can get badges for doing those things. The next thing I want you all to do is I want you all to check out your profile. Click the top right of the app and go to your profile. Try to follow along with me if you can. So when you're in your profile, I think this is a super, super intentional page that, you know, when we when we built this page, we wanted like a repo or a repository for your notes. Just go to your life scores and then on all the cards that show up, I just really want you to be able to see it. When you're in life scores, all the badges like gold stars, the bat, the gamification is just to help with your personal growth. So here, here you go, Rhonda, one more time here. I want to show this to you. You have the big giant card that shows up for your life score. Up in the top right, you can see recommendations and you can see write journal entry. And you can share your, you can share that you're taking life scores in the tool and you can share that on social media, which is cool. But you can write that journal entry and you click it and then it shows up. Okay, so inside of your growth profile, when you click your profile, you have a top section where you can put in your big why, you can put in your focus areas or the high performance habits. You can write goals here as well. And I tend to like keep these goals separate from my plan because my plan is for my recurring activities and things that I'm doing. These are my big giant goals. Like I even have a, a goals to, to know what my wife's plans and goals are. I have a, um, I have a big giant dream and goal to write a design intention book, the power of design intention. I want to release an audio book and a course around that. I want to build and buy like a, a custom home. I want to host a big mastermind and a conference. I want to build a, a Roblox video game to help kids learn how to learn about product design and collaboration. And, and I want to launch the MVP of that game. I then can scroll down. So you can put your own goals and you can see a little completed section down at the bottom. And then at the very, very bottom, I have these achievements. And the achievements are a way to keep track of everything that you've accomplished inside the tool. So there's things that are in progress. So I have a daily journal streak. I'm going on my 14 day journal streak. I have three, a three day daily life score. So two more days and I've achieved that. I have these other challenges that I've joined that I can rejoin, get in there. And then I can see all the badges that I've, that I've earned. So when I go into the badges, all right, so inside of here, you can see all the, the number of times that you've achieved these things. And the cool thing about this is when you click on it, thank you all for being here. Appreciate you so much. I'll post the recording very soon, probably on Sunday. And I just wanted to thank you all. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. All right. See ya. Great session. Bye. 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 Appreciate you all. See ya. See ya. See ya. Five, four, three, two, one. Later.